experience for others to lead them into the presence of God. You, sir, right here in the hat, could you come on up? There was a special man in the Bible. His name was Andrew, and he was one of the disciples of the Lord. And his gift was bringing people to Jesus, and there is an evangelistic anointing all over you. There is a power for you to share, and people will respond. Others can go out and share the exact same thing. And though it would have effect, it would be limited compared to the anointing that God has placed on you. There is a power in you. And when you share your love, and when you share the truth of God's Word with others, people are, are immediately affected by that. God says, the same anointing that was on Andrew is on you. Like that little boy who brought his lunch, what little he had to Jesus. The God says that miracles are going to happen because you're going to bring what you have. You're going to bring the anointing and the glory that God has played. And you looked at yourself and you consider yourself to not be as educated as others. You look at yourself to not be as important as others, to not be as honorable as others. But God says you are the type of people that I am choosing in this last hour because you have love and you have truth. And miracles always follow compassion. The Bible says Jesus had compassion on them. And then healings took place. There is a compassion about you. And that's why you have an evangelistic anointing upon you. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we believe. Come on, stretch your hands this way. We believe, God, that there is a power about this man that is going to change communities. That is going to change even in his family. The Lord says He knows that you have been praying and believing for your family. To come out of what they think is safety and security. To come out of a religion that they think hey, they have all that they need. And God says He is still going to use you. And even though they have told you to, to back off, they don't want to hear that. They don't want if they are right with God, they are fine with God. God says, I am about to use you to flip the switch in their life. You are going to be the one that activates the power of God, the conviction of God. Others have tried, and they have beat them down and bruised them. But you're coming in with compassion. You're coming in with love, and you're coming in with truth. And God says, I am going to display you and put you out there for all to see. Do not be afraid. He says, I am going to put you in the public. God says, do not fear. For I am going to fill your mouth as I have filled your heart. I have filled you from your belly. And out of that are coming rivers of living water. And they are going to come out in power and glory for the King of Kings. Father, right now, in Jesus' name, fill Him from the top, Lord God, all the way from His side to His side, from the inside to the outside. God, don't let anything be untouched by Your glory, God. Fill Him right now, God, with Your power and Your glory that He would go forth, God, and share the truth and be ignited for You, God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are excited that God is not done. He's not done. He is going to finish, but He's not finished yet. Amen. The Bible says He is the author and the finisher of our faith, but He's not done yet. There's a lot that's going to take place. we got a few more meetings, but when these meetings are done, you know what? We walk in this. Come on. We don't just do this once a year. We walk and live in this glory. Amen. We have been blessed in here to have glory services. There's been times I haven't even been able to preach because the worship has been so powerful and God has shown up. Come on. This is something He wants us to live in. Not just come and visit. Come on. But we walk in this and we live in this. We are going to continue this tomorrow morning at, at our churches. Uh, Brother Sean will be up in Parowan, Chris, Grace Christian Church. Pastor Dan right there. Pastor Rob. Thank you guys for coming. John's going to be here bringing a word. I believe. Come on, we're gonna tie up both ends of the knot. Come on, we're gonna we're gonna tie it up, and then we're gonna come together. Come on, it's gonna be dunamis. Hallelujah! It's gonna be Acts chapter one. It's gonna be the dynamite of God. Let's just lift your hands in this house, Father. We thank you and we give you the glory for all that you've done. But Lord, we I don't mean to be rude, God, but we want more. Yes, Lord. I don't mean to be ungrateful, but I want more. Yes. 
I don't want to sound unsatisfied. I, I think, Lord, You satisfy me in every way. But God, I know there's more. God, I've read too much. I have heard too much to think that this is all there is. We are believing and expecting for even more and greater things to take place, God. Lord, that's the cry of our heart. That's the desire that we want, God. We want more. We want all that You will give to us, Lord, that we can afford to house and to handle. And then even more, God. And then even more. Father, we thank You tonight. We bless You tonight for the healings for the prophetic words, for the words of knowledge, Lord. For these two men stepping out in faith and putting it out there and showing You again and again, Lord, that they will trust You when You give them an unction, God. And Father, I thank You that they hit it on the head, Lord. They hit it right on the mark. Father, may we be inspired, encouraged, and ready to go out and face whatever we have to face with the same anointing. In Jesus' name. Come on, let's give Him a big praise of the Lord. The worship team will take us out in song. Feel free to love on people. We will we'll be back at this again tomorrow. And we hope to see everybody tomorrow night at Parowan at 6 o'clock.